I want to rattle through a bunch of basic tools, more advanced tools, software tools, places, etc. Um, some things that are useful. Basic tools. We've all got these. Um, if you don't have a um, cable tie gun, oh my God, get one. If you've never seen one, has anyone not seen one? I haven't got one yet. I haven't got one yet. I do have one here. I was so happy when Masters closed me up. I bought some, did you? Mine's just about dead. I went to get them. They had no Masters. The day they were closed me up, I bought one. Cable tie gun for 90% off. It's like five bucks. Thank you. Uh, super cheap auto sell them, but they don't know what they are because I went into my local super cheap auto and said, I want to. They, they said that they sell them, so I went in there, looked everywhere, couldn't find them. Went up to the guy at the counter and said, The market cable tie gun, what's the? So I had to explain it. He looked it up, goes, Yeah, yeah, we've got one, but they didn't actually have one in the stores. So. Uh, absolutely amazing. If you're putting a thousand or two thousand pixels and cable tying each one, that thing saves you a huge amount of time. The Titans, a nice tightness, cuts it clean every time. They're amazing. And saves fingers. They have a very variable tightness, so you can actually vary how tight you want yeah, to do. Yeah. No. Yeah, speak to you, sir. I don't use it on street. Yeah. I don't use it on street. Get yourself one. Seriously, save a huge amount of time. Um, just put your name there and just say, That's probably the main one there. Um, consumables. Um, I'm a bit of a sort of, uh, I do live my electronics itself, so I tend to get into some of these things. I, I love my buck converters. Um, this one will let you draw. They're a bit more amps than these little ones. These little ones are about two bucks each US, should be. Mm. Um, these are a little more, they're like four bucks, etc. But you can draw a lot more current out of them um, before they overheat. What um, actually do, do you use those for? Okay. Um, I have some areas where I run 12 volts up to my box, but then I step it down to run my controller at 5 volts. Um, I bought a stack of those. I bought a stack of those last year for Halloween. I bought a whole stack of battery operated Halloween lights with different shapes, ghosts and ghouls. Cut the battery pack off, but convert it from whatever it was down to, because they're, they're three and a half volts, four volts. So you can run them off five, 12, 20. So Daryl runs his show at quite a high voltage and then he steps it down using bulk converters, although he did find that when they fail, they fail open. And that's not a good thing. <laughs> so he did try a few things doing so. But yeah, bulk converters, I love it. Uh, neutral pure silicon sealant, you never have enough of that. Um, I do use a lot of strip and when you cut the strip, fill it all up. Um, the more the better I find that those things leak if you don't really fill them up. Um, you can never have too much wire. Um, I mostly like the two core um, wire for running power around. What um, gauge? I don't know where it is, it's just two core. I buy it at um, Turks. By the roll, 100 litres at a time, go through two or three a year. Um, don't forget, if you're buying a controller that's fused, buy extra fuses. You will blow them eventually at the worst possible moment. We blew, we blew a couple in Vegas and we're running around to other boards pulling fuses out because we didn't have the right size. Where'd you get yours from? I buy them um, from JCAR or Ultronics. Wow. And you know, Evo fuses like Dangerous. Yeah, I, I actually bought some from eBay and tried them out. Yeah, I, I actually overloaded them and, and one of them caught fire, the plastic caught fire. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, okay, yeah. throw them out. The plastic's not fire rated up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I've used the um, bridge rectifiers and the capacitors to actually um, use old AC plug packs and to convert it to DC and run um, my Arduinos and whatever off a of DC that's just uses, just take a bridge rectifier and a couple of capacitors and diode or two and done. Um, so yeah, heat shrink, never have enough heat shrink. Oh, never. Never. <laughs> Why? How much you think you're going to need, triple it and buy that, and then think about buying some more. Well, this is fantastic, yep. you need about 20 of this. Yeah. Yeah. We were buying yeah. that 100 and 200 litre yeah. rolls, and I want my second 200 litre roll of that size stuff. Yeah. All right, some electronics tools. Um, ben, I added the solder pot. I did buy one. I love it. I bought a real one and I bought a cheapy. 
Yeah, uh, and it works. I just would not leave it alone. I'm supervised. <laughs> Hey? I haven't seen a cheapie flat. No, there, there are cheapies out there from China, but I wouldn't leave it running on its own. So what do you price? Yeah, 30, 40 bucks, I think. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. But they, they, they're nasty. They're a nasty build. They're not a good build. The right thing was that's old three or four hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Four hundred dollars to buy. Yeah, they yeah, the hate, hate yeah. Oh, it's, it's if, uh, No one knows what the, the solar pot's for. It's the tin in the end of your solar. Your, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a vat of solar. You need to hold that up so it's molten. And you get your, you get your wire and you strip it and dip it in. Yep. No, no, it's just done. That's lazy. It might be lazy, but it's magic. This is the other one that I can't do without. Yeah. The gas powered soldering iron. These things are amazing. I was sitting up in the dark. On my roof, joining strip together with one of these. Yeah. They're absolutely amazing. They're about a hundred bucks each. Yeah. The, the first one you need was to warm up a ladder with an extension. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, no, I guess. Yeah. 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 When you're joining your wires together, if I may, most people think make an extension cord with a plug either end of the cable in the middle and you join like that, and it looks nice and it's pretty. But if you join it like that, you strip your wires, hold them together, twist them, dip, it. dip them in the pot, they're soldered, put a bit of heat screen over it and zap it, and it's done. It's ugly because yeah, the wires look like it, that. Nobody you know, sees them sitting in the gutter on the roof, and it's yeah. fast. Mm -hmm. You've got a thousand of them, mate. Yeah. Or it's three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Soldering iron cleaner, don't use the sponges. Get the um, the ones with the metal. Um, it's like a scourer. Um, you can buy the cheap scourers. It doesn't matter. The important thing is that it's not a wet sponge. The wet sponge cracks the tips on your um, your soldering iron. It's not spectacular. Um, solder stations. I love these when you're trying to play with SMD. So if you're trying to remove an SMD component, these things are magic. Um, you can get cheap ones as well if you're not using it very often. They're kind of useful. Um, if you're doing lots of board work, they're great. Heat gun, got to have a heat gun. Got an inch heat shrink. The hair dryer is good. Heat gun's better. <laughs> if you're as right bad as me, the magnifying light lamp is the only way I can read a transistor. I've got a little one there, too. Hey? I've got one on the arm with the big light. <laughs> <laughs> you're older than I am. Yep. If you're. Um, Making RJ45, um, I definitely get one of these. Yeah, this is the only way to check if your cables are good. Um, uh, and the crimpers are obviously necessary as well if you're making your own. Homemade tools, breakout cables. Breakout cables are, breakout cables are where you, you've got a cable but you've got access to the actual wires. I actually got a bunch of test ones like that because every now and then I actually want to test that the power is going through the cable or whatever and it makes it a lot easier to do so. Um, and I still use the old bolt testers because I still like to still run one incandescent element which I'm not giving up on. It's 23 years old and I've never burnt the bulb out yet. Electronic tools, um, multimeter. Everyone's got to have a multimeter. Um, on top of the multimeter though, I do like the clamp meters. Oh, yeah. Right, it measures the amount of current that you your things drawing. That's the automotive use line. Right, so you can put an extra with different plugs on it so you can just straight oh, in. Yeah. It tells you how much current is going up. Oh, yeah. you've seen that, Scott. Yeah, super cheap auto. I don't know if it's just on. Not that expensive. Well, it's uh, there's a non contact voltage detector to check whether there's actually power there. If you know, two, if you're not sure there's 240 in there, something like this, you just put it next to the cable and light up if it's actually power. No. Um, the logic analyzers, if you're doing, um, you do well, because I play with my Arduinos and whatever, the logic analyzer lets me actually see the quality of the signal. Um, and I also have, I get two oscilloscopes and I have occasionally hooked up to outputs of controllers to see what the signal looks like, particularly on the end of a long run. It's really interesting to see what happens to a signal over a long piece of wire. I have a very old um, analog and, and I also have a digital as well. Um, oh, the little one? Yeah, I, I have two of these on my test rig. I have a test rig, much like Brad's. Um, can I just uh, make a suggestion? Buy one of these for $6, you're not even that half thing. $2. Yeah. 
and your plugs that you use on all your Christmas mm -hmm. lights, and you put plug in and plug out, and then you can mm -hmm. take that, break your string, oh. put it in the middle, and you it's can, you can read the voltage at the end of your string okay. or in the middle of your string. Let's see how much current's being drawn down the string. Yeah, no, current. Yeah, I, I got a volt yeah. I've actually got one of those on every power supply. I just go and plug yeah, it at the end of my strings, and I see how much in its volts. They're not hugely accurate at uh, yeah. low voltage. Low voltage is not accurate, but and it tells you that. But it's a guide. So yeah. you know it should be around five plus or minus a couple of amps, but if it's doing like fifteen and you should you know it should only be around five to six. That's where you're gonna go find your virus in the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had an issue last year, I had uh, my mini troops were playing up and I wondered why they just looked terrible. Yeah. Uh, they're only dumb RGBs when I went over there and I've read the voltage, it was 2.9 volts. Uh -huh. yeah. And that was without anything on when it started to load up, it was dropping even further. Yeah. No, the only read was that I had in the display. All right, this is my list of uh, websites um, that are useful. Um, I go past your, your sequences, X Lights and Vixen, these are where you go and find things. Uh, the videos, X Lights, there's two, three hundred videos on X Lights and trading there. Um, the Nutcracker Forum is still there. Uh, there's a couple of Facebook groups. Uh, I spend more time on the official site. It's orders of magnitude busier than every other site, including DIYC. Um, obviously, there's Oz. Um, Vixen has an official Facebook page. I don't think they know where it is. <laughs> uh, do, it, <laughs> do it yourself Christmas is still very active. And um, if you're Vixen or if you're doing um, Renard or any of that sort of stuff, most of the action tends to be there. Um, Falcon Christmas, obviously home of the Pie Player. Uh, you will get the Falcon board stuff there as well, although you'll tend to find the Falcon board stuff, anything that's important will turn up on the official X lights as well. Um, and they also have a uh, Facebook page which is reasonably active. The clip converter I use for pulling videos down on whatever occasion. That's it.